Hello and welcome to a new project. I once again have a dog on my lap. There he is. <laughs> he is a bit needy this morning, so we're giving him cuddles. Today we are diving into some Regency era clothing. I have an event coming up that I'm working at where I am portraying Jane Bennett and I don't have anything Regency because I don't really like Regency, if I'm gonna be honest. But it does include uh, short stays and as you know, I love me some corsets. So we're going to give it a go. I don't know a whole lot about the Regency lifestyle, clothing, layers, anything. But what, from what little research I have done, it seems that I need a chemise, uh, short stays, petticoat and a dress. So in today's video, I will tackle the chemise and possibly the petticoat get those out of the way. One thing I do love about chemises of pretty much any era, they are made up of rectangles. So I can do rectangles. So let's go and measure this out onto some fabric. And now the dog has settled. He doesn't want to move and I need to go and cut this out, but he doesn't want me to. I can't even stop the camera recording. I just, there's a dog on my lap sleeping. What do I do? I cannot move. <laughs> it's against the law. <laughs> You're a cute boy. <laughs> so these are my beautiful measurement drawings of the different elements of this outfit. But this morning I'm working on the chemise, which as you can see is basically big rectangle, little square, and I'm going to do a short sleeve. So small rectangle there. And that's about all there is to it. I'll do a drawstring neckline, I think. This is the fabric that I'm going to use for the chemise and possibly also the petticoat since I have a lot of it there. It's just a nice lightweight cotton, so it won't be too hot under several layers. So my fabric is 44 inches across. And I know in here I said I would do a 27 inch width for these front and back panels, but I think what I'm gonna do is just do half the width of this fabric, which would be 22 inches. That would still be wide enough to go around me, but if I want a bit of extra width in here, I will just add some triangular gauze afterwards. But yes, if I cut out one length, that is, what did I say, 40 inches, and then I can cut that in half, and there's my front and back piece. at the width of this now that I've cut it like yes it will go around me but I'm definitely going to add some gauze just to make it fit better around the body. Everything is cut out and ready to start to put together. I've cut the neckline out. It looks dramatically low, but this is Regency, so I need quite a low neckline. I'm not sure if this is even going to be low enough, but I can adjust that when I've got it together. So I'm going to do up my shoulder seams and everything's gonna be done French seams, so it's all finished. my shoulder seams finished I'm going to pick, get my sleeve piece find the middle which I've done here line that up with the shoulder seam and then stitch that on but not all the way to the end of each piece because then I'm going to bring my little gusset piece in and that will get stitched under there and give me lots of arm movement So 
my gusset is nearly finished. I've attached it to the sleeve side of things. Now I just need to attach each side to the side seam of the actual garment. Now I'm going to put these gauze in, in the side seams, and then I'll do up this last little bit between the gore and the armpit, basically. All right, now this is all together. I've just got to figure out how to French seam this section and also this pointed he this point here where the two seams join at the top of the um, gore there and yeah this sort of section where again it splits into two so I'm not really sure I'm just going to turn it inside out and see where the seams want to go and we'll just go with that now finished with French seams, or my construction seams anyway, and yes, yeah, some of the uh, corner joins are a little bit dodgy, but everything's tucked in and it's a chemise undergarment that no one's going to see, so I'm going with she's okay. Now I just need to hem the sleeves, hem the bottom, and make a channel in the neckline through which I can thread a cord so that it can be pulled tighter or adjusted as needed. So my neck hem slash channel is horrendously done. Today is really not my sewing day. I'm struggling with everything today and it's very simple stuff, but I could not get it to go around the corners nicely and I'm just not in the mood to fight it. So it is what it is. <laughs> and I'm going to try and see if I can fit a cord through all its lumps and bumps and then gather it up and you won't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> the chemise is done. I did unfortunately measure my sleeves wrong, so they're really tight around my arms. So rather than properly finish the hem, I've just overlocked it so I don't add any bulk to that to make it a little bit more comfortable for me. At some point I might just take the sleeves off but at the moment it's all sort of finished French seamed into one in the side seams and the gusset seams like it's fine underarm I've got plenty of movement that way it's just my biceps are too big and it's just a little bit tight that way so that's annoying but it is done I'm gonna move on to the petticoat Petticoat is all cut out once again there's a lot of rectangles so my back piece is just a rectangle and I will pleat it down to sort of fit my back measurements. My front panel has a very slight taper from the top to the bottom just to give me a bit more width in the bottom so I don't fall over myself and I can walk easily. And then a waistband rectangle and two straps. This style of petticoat Yes, it has a waistband and a closure, but it also has kind of suspenders just to hold the petticoat at that under bust line so it doesn't drop down to the natural waist. I'm just going to put it together. There's not much to it. Do up the side seams, leaving so much at one side so that I can get into it. And then attaching a waistband and some straps.
petticoat waistband is on. Uh, it still needs a closure, but that's a later thing. Now I want to work on the straps for it. So I'm just going to fold these in half, sew down, turn them inside out, press them, and they will become some straps. And then I need to figure out their attachment placing. time to figure out this strap placement. This is my center back and I'm just going to take these straps and pin them on the back relatively close to the center back because I think that way the straps will be less likely to fall off my shoulders like having a bit of an angle over my shoulder will hold the strap on better than if it was out further. So I'm gonna just safety pin them on then try this on to see how long the straps need to be in the front. I actually think I got these straps pretty good first try. They feel good in the back, with that inch and a half out from center back, and they're pretty much the perfect length in the front. So if I just fold under and stitch it, she'll be good, which is amazing. Once these straps are on, hem it, she's done. chemise and my suspended petticoat are finished I can move on to the next layer which is technically the in-between layer because you would wear the chemise the stays then the petticoat but I wanted to get the sort of easy under things done first so now I get to move on to the stays so the next video will be the making of the Regency short stays so if you're interested in that then stick around and I'll see you next week Bye.